Hey there. Okay, so today I'm going to get a little bit closer in, and there's a reason for this, because I'm going to be talking about shaving. Now, this may seem like an odd topic, but it's actually something that, uh, you know, when I was younger, I couldn't find any information on this, and there's a reason behind what I'm about to say. Like most people, I went through a phase of my life where I used an electric razor, and that was fine for a while. I probably used it for about 10 years or so. And then in the end, I was like, you know what? I don't like having to keep getting this thing out and cleaning the blades and everything else. And yeah, you know, it was just a pain in the butt. As time went by also, it wasn't holding its charge so well. So I thought, you know what? I'll retire this and I will move over to using a wet razor. So I started using the wet razor and like many people, I was using a Gillette Mac 3. In Canada, a Gillette Mac 3 razor blade cartridge pack is now retailing for over $30. This is very, very expensive. And, you know, having to buy several of these boxes a year, it got me thinking that there's got to be a better way to do it. On top of the shaving cartridges, there's the cream and everything else. And, you know, the, the cream, it's almost like you, you feel as if you're going through a, a can of that every two months. And, you know, it, it really does start to get on your nerves once you realize how much you're spending. So I decided to do something about it. And I moved over to shaving with one of these. Now, this is where I ran into a problem because if you ever try to shave with one of these, it's not like you can go and ask your father or your grandfather because they've never used one either. And so for me, this was, this was a, a big, big problem. I really wanted to learn how to use one of these and I was able to find some information online. I'm gonna try and convey some of the information that I, I did quickly pick up. And as I said, I've, I've now been using one of these for, it's gotta be the better part of 10 years now. And, you know, I, I really don't regret it at all. First things first, you probably hear people refer to these as a cutthroat razor. That's totally incorrect. What actually happened is, you know, these used to just be called a razor because they were the only type. And uh, now they're normally called a straight razor just to differentiate them from other razors. And you basically have a handle and you have a blade. And the way that you normally hold it is you have the handle going 90 degrees this way and you literally, you know, hold it like that and then from that you, you can start shaving. Obviously, with something that is a blade, I mean, I'll just bring this in a bit so you can see what we're dealing with here. Like, you know, these things are incredibly sharp. They're very, very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. And this is where, I guess, Gillette, they latched onto this because if you don't know what you're doing or, you know, you are careless with it, you're gonna get injured. So they started calling it a cutthroat razor. And of course, this then became part of the advertising going forward. Everybody now calls it a cutthroat razor, but it was never called that before. Obviously, there's a drawback. If this is your type of razor, you can't travel with it. You can't pack it in your carry-on luggage and take it if you're going you know, for a quick trip somewhere. So for those types of purposes, I have a backup. And now I've gone back to about 1950 and so this is what I use for traveling. And you know, it's a basic, just a, a, what's called a double-edged safety razor. This is actually an important stepping stone in how we went from this to the Gillette Mac 3. So going back to this one, this has one blade and there is no protection. This means that you, you can shave yourself with it and you, know, you don't get razor burn because it's one blade, it's not three blades or five blades or whatever, it's one blade, so there's no razor burn. It cuts very, very well, but it does require that you really do watch what you're doing when you're using it. Like any sideways motion will result in a cut. So rather than going sideways where you're gonna cut, you always have to move, you, you take it across your face. Now, what you're basically doing is when you lather up and you use one of these, you are giving the blade a choice. And the choice is, to cut your hair or cut your skin. And so, you know, you have to make sure that when you're shaving and you're, you're, you're going across the skin this way, that, you know, the skin is tight, so the only thing that the blade can catch on is the hair. Obviously, people was like, okay, you know, there are a lot of people that do cut themselves, so how about we put the blade behind the guard? And this is where you come to this. As you can see, there is one blade still, and it is sort of recessed behind a bit of a guard. And so this is called a double-edged safety razor. And the reason it's called double-edged is because you've got one edge here and you've got one edge here. It's a safety razor. Same problem though, if you go sideways, you will still cut yourself. But generally, going down lengthways, like going this way as opposed to this way, you won't cut yourself. 
very, very good razor, and these blades last forever. I, I normally find I can go about a month on one of these, and of course a pack of 10 blades is about $11 in Canada. So rather than spend $100 a year, I might spend $10 a year. Obviously this one, I don't spend anything because I, you know, keep the blade nice. I, have, I do have to sharpen it up from time to time, and I use a strop, which I will show you later, uh, maybe in another video. So yes, I use this, and it has done me very, very well. Uh, but again, there was a problem where there's a lack of knowledge that was never passed down in the family, and therefore I was totally stuck when I first started using it. These, this particular one, I think it cost me $60. So this one razor was cheaper than all of the Gillette Mac 3 cartridges that I ever bought in an entire year after I'd been using it for about five years. Like the amount of money that was spent on Gillette Mac 3 cartridges, I could have bought many, many of these. And actually there is a, uh, a razor that I do want to get one day. It's called the Bismarck, made by the same people that make this one, Dovo. Yeah, it's a German razor, obviously. And uh, yeah, I, I really love the Bismarck. So this is what I'm using now. And there are a couple of rules with this. You never use it drunk. You never use it when you're in a rush and you never use it when you're angry. And it goes back to that whole thing about you are giving the blade a choice as to what it's gonna cut, whether it's your hair or you. And whenever you're in a rush, you're angry or something else goes wrong, you end up getting careless and the end result is you end up cutting yourself. Now, back when I first started using this, like there was nothing scarier than taking a blade to your face. Like it literally felt as if like you could end up in hospital <laughs> in a couple of minutes. So. Yeah, it took me a while, probably about two months, to really get comfortable with just opening up a, a you know, blade and then just taking it to your face. Yeah, you know, and when when you cut when you cut down, you just literally, and unlike in movies where you see them doing big big strokes and stuff, that's not how you do it. You actually do small little strokes, down down down, and yeah, it. That way you're not dragging it over large areas and stuff and you, know, you can just chip away at what needs to be done. The other thing that you suddenly notice when you start using straight razor is that much like on the top of your hair where none of your hairs grow all uniformly in one direction, you've got some that are going this way, some going this way, the back of your head goes down, the front of your head goes forward. Same thing on the rest of your face. You suddenly realize that you've got some hairs that grow this way, some hairs are growing this way, and yeah, you get to know what your face actually looks like. And again, it comes back to, it's, it's an art that's being lost using a straight razor. Having said that, these razors, I think if you don't want to go that route, this will still save you a ton of money. So you can normally pick up one of these for about 40 or $50. And the pack of blades that goes in it, it's normally about $10, $11. So I've probably saved somewhere in the region of about, uh, it's got to be around $800 since I changed back in time on the razors. So now, why do I have one blade on both of these, yet the existing status quo is to have three blades at least, and some people go up to five blades? Here's why. The minute that they put one blade behind here, this started a bit of an arms race, because it was like, okay, if one blade behind a shield is it's not going to cut you, but it also doesn't quite cut as good as one of these. Just purely because the shield is impeding the blade from getting to your face. So they went, well, how about we put two blades in there? Because the first one can get most of it, and then the second one just sort of like, you know, pulls on that last little bit to, you know, cut even closer. Well, the minute they did that, you're now creating razor burn. So they're like, okay, what we'll do is we'll move to a free blade system and we'll stick some lubricant on the front of the razor so now we're lubricating what the free blades are going to hit on the back and you know hopefully because you haven't got two blades digging in deep three blades digging in less deep plus with lubricant should stop the razor burn what they then realize is if you use four blades well you get even less razor burn but it does require more blades to you know get as close of a shave then they went five blades. And you know, the logical end of this is you're gonna have a block of sandpaper that you just rub up and down. There is absolutely no way you can ever cut yourself, but it's gonna have to be lubricated sandpaper because of the razor burn, right? This is where, going back to this, it's like, wow, no razor burn. With this, hardly any razor burn. So that's why I use very, very old razors, or at least old design razors. I, I just think the, the whole Gillette Mac 3 
system is a scam. Like I, I just will not pay that money anymore. Now, obviously, when you move over to something like this, there's a few other things that you end up normally getting. The first is you end up with a, uh, a proper bristle brush, uh, and it's normally made out of badger fur, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, you end up with a, a badger's bum that you're dragging across your face. You might hear the term badger and blade, and that's where it comes from. It's the badger blush, uh, badger blush, badger brush, <laughs> and the straight razor. Of course, the next thing is, well, you don't need the cans of spray cream anymore that cost like, you know, five to ten dollars and last a month. Now you can move over to something like Prorasso or some other uh, big soap. And, you know, those things, they'll last two years, three years, no problem. Uh, like you really don't need a lot of it at all. And so, yeah, that's, that's again, it saves you money. Uh, yeah, it may take you all of five seconds to rinse out the badger brush at the end of it, but you're still saving yourself an immense amount of money. So, yeah. I use one of these when I travel, I travel with that. And you know, both of these always shock people. They're like, really? We've never seen anybody that ever actually uses one of those. That's what I use. So anyway, hope you found that one interesting. Speak to you soon. Bye.